Don't take a step back, baby. Don't take a step back. Let's go. Right. Got a build up for a fight against uh, this guy, Sasha. Heading over uh, to the beach for the face offs to go uh, face off with the goat. You protect the greens. You know, they say you. the light skin, my eyes can't be up in the sun like that. Got you. Keep it safe. <laughs> They said something about a, a chihuahua dog that's gonna be the beach. If you if you allow me, I need to do a safety thing. Uh, so the, the chihuahua doesn't run. Just to, you know, I, I thought I thought you were a nice kid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I have to train him, or, but. I brought some leash if just in case you want to run away. Everybody know my my KO power in the first second third round because these everybody have this this strategy and this normally and I think I think they are right because it really is <laughs> really dangerous uh, fight versus me in the first second third round. I didn't have a slow start last fight. I am a slow starter. I always been a slow starter. You know, I, I've been dropped three times in my life. All three times was in the first two rounds, you know. So it's something that we're working on it, but that's it. You know, you said everything. I am a slow starter, you know. He better knock me out in the first one or two rounds or he gonna see what happened after. I'm more of that Tom Brady, that Benjamin Button. I just get better with time, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm martial arts is the fountain of youth. Um, I'm the only one that's been doing this and creating highlights for decades now. I have highlights of the centuries to last for centuries beyond my timeline. Daniel's one of the toughest, uh, you know, possible looks that I could get. You know, as a southpaw, he's a he's a strong guy. He's not going to be throwing 360 tornado kicks. He he had a couple times, but you know, he throws some spinning mushroom kicks. You know, a couple things I got to <laughs> you know look out for. But at the same time. Uh, you know, he keeps me honest. A lot of people from the outside think, oh, these guys are a bunch of stoners, they don't train, but we put in a ton of work, we grind, and uh, yeah, you're gonna see the, that effort on Saturday night. So I keep a close eye on everyone. I think the uh, the entire KC staff has had it up to here with me about, I mean, I've been, I was trying to get on this card. I'm still trying to get on this card, but uh, you know, we got till tomorrow, you never know. It's always fun to get in the pit, and so I had a lot of, I had a blast, you know. Uh, you know, still a little frustrated for not having an extra round. I feel like they've been handing them out since I, that fight. <laughs> kind of like the Oprah show, you get extra round, you get extra round. Yeah, I think he's like easy opponent for me. I will beat him. I will crush him in the first round. Okay, Jiki va m'écraser. He says he's going to knock me out. And uh, in other interviews, he's talked about my needing a doctor because he's going to chop my head off. I don't think so. I'm going to smash him. You're scared. Boy, don't Just be scared. Don't Just be scared. Come, 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 come forward. Just see you, man. You won't come forward. Yeah, face forward. Come forward. You take one to my side. Raymond's always been like a big brother to me. He's a he's an inspiration. So uh, yeah, it means a lot to be able to be on the same card as him I'm from the concrete jungle. We got concrete hands. We got a chip on our shoulder. And, you know, anytime, any place, anywhere, anybody, anyone can catch it. So I fought guys that were like 280 pounds. I got to fight Berman Stavern before he fought Deontay Wilder and trained with him at Mayweather's gym. And he, I don't want to swear, but man, he punched me so hard. Like, me siento bien. I feel very, very good. And I have uh, good partners in my country and I am ready for this fight. And this Saturday is Brazil against Canada. I have nothing but respect for my opponent. I would love to find someone that can knock me the fuck out. That would be great. I would love to be carried out on my shield. That's what I'm looking for. If he's the man that does it, phenomenal. Um, I, I would love to lose on Saturday and being shown that someone can take me out. That's the craziest thing I ever heard, but well, <laughs> I hope so. I'm working on it. I'll be working on it Saturday night too. I'm more than ready. And welcome to the Karate Combat 39 weigh-in show. We have a wonderful night of martial artistry that will take place right here in this pit Saturday night. I really enjoyed it. The, the format is very unique. Tommy Noxukai Azuz weighs in 146 pounds. Sadaim weighs in 150 units. What? Caravac weighs in 
203.5. Big Antonio weighs in 205 even. Stan Kunis weighs in 134.5 pounds. Bumik weighs in 145. Everil weighs in 148 pounds. Esparza steps on the scale, 164 pounds. Rod weighs in at a lean and mean 165. Buelo weighs in 174 pounds. The real deal weighs in at a lean 173.5 pounds. Champion weighs in at a ripped and ready 148.5. The challenger weighs in 148.5 pounds. Fucked up this fork. Look at that. <laughs> that is a fucked <laughs> up fork. Same. <laughs> I got one. I got Perfect. <laughs> there we go. Great start. Oh, mate. I'm here on the other side of the world. I'm here fighting the goat. I got to have some experience, you know, got to, all, all my whole career is just pretty much funneled to this point in my career now to face the GOAT, so it's going to be a very lovely s Saturday evening. We're going to get it together, put as much technique on the line as possible, make sure that we're coming out of that fight, not only ourselves happy with the performance, but the fans as well, just super excited. But, you know, being from Hong Kong, <laughs> my favorite food is barbecue GOAT. So I have to make sure that I am cooking up a big storm for Saturday night <laughs> so everybody can have a piece at the end of this beautiful night. May 20, Karate Combat, 39. Tune in. Make sure it's a good night. George! Oh, George, what's going on? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Aliens have come and landed and brought George a birthday cake. Candy, 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 candy wish candy happy birthday. birthday. Thanks for watching, I'm Layla, and if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.